Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you all the basic navigation and GUI graphic user interface of Icon 7 and how to control the Icon 7. I just opened the Icon 7, then you can see here you, you cannot see any of the grid. So to show the grid is Control G, Control G to toggle the grid. And now you can see, here, here it shows some of the project information here, project triangles, all of this. It can be toggled by using Ctrl F to toggle it. Alright, how about if you want to rotate the camera, rotate the preview camera, you can press C and then you can use your mouse left click to rotate the, ca the preview camera. If you press X, then you can move, move the preview camera, press C to rotate. And how about if you want to zoom in and zoom out, you can just scroll your mouse. Alright, if you want to increase the speed the speed of zoom in and zoom out. You can hold the shift button, then you can zoom in and zoom out faster. Then if you are rotating, you hold the shift, you can rotate faster. And if you want to move the camera, you press X and hold the shift, you can move it faster. So you can, you can toggle the speed by using the shift, the shift button. Alright, in Icon 7, here, this one, you can toggle. And what is this? This is, a, this is what we call the timeline. When you are doing the animations, you always need to, to see the timeline. And here, this is very important. You can zoom in and zoom out the timeline to fit to window. The maximum is 1,800. So by the way, you can click the window, workplace. You can choose all panel, then everything will be here. The window, workplace, if standard, you cannot see the timeline. So you can just put it for all panels. It's better. And of course, you can always drag. Drag it to somewhere. Let's say the modified is here. You can drag it to here to put that here. You can sh you can move it anytime by dragging. It is pretty easy. All right. So all the contents, you have to click the contents and you can just put any prop in. The props are here, the characters should be at here, the, the avatar. You can drag in any avatar. You can drag in any of the motion as well. And the prop. The 3D blocks, you just need to drag in, that's all. If you press F, you press F, it will view from that side. If you press D, if you press S, you will view from the side. If you press A, you view from another side. Alright. So for today, that's all about the navigations and all the panels and basic GUI graphic user interface of the Icon 7. And all of this tutorial, you can just refer back. You can see my on-screen keyboard and on-screen mouse click everything display. So you can follow this tutorial easily. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. 
If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.